Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hi there everyone and welcome back to another lesson. In this video you will be learning how we can create variance charts to track performance in Excel. So let's get started. The very first thing is that variance charts help us to track performance of employees, students, teachers or anyone. In this case I have an example in which one column has students names followed by their test scores and the third column in this case the C column has their target scores. For example, John was supposed to score 75 marks as a target. Instead, he scored 67. So a variance chart will show me clearly what was his target score and what are his test scores to compare and see the lag and the working that needs to be done for improvement. So let's get started in order to how to make the variance charts. The first step is you need to select the data that you need to add into your variance chart. Once that is selected, you're going to use your keyboard key of Alt F1 and you're going to see, magically, a chart is going to appear. If you want to name the chart for chart title, you can, but in my case, I will simply select and delete it. Here you can see that at the x-axis, you can see the names of the students, John, Amelia, Anna, Annie, Samantha, and Sarah. The orange bars show the target scores, while the blue ones show the test scores. And on the y-axis, you have the marks, 0 to 100. Now, this certain graph that you see here is not very convenient to see how well the students are doing. If you actually want to see and track the performance of the kids, you have to change the way this certain chart looks. For doing that, you will go to the chart tool section under which there is a section of design. In that, for the type, you'll click on change chart type. Then you'll go to the last option of combo, and you're going to see that we will have the test scores in form of the bars and the target scores in form of a line. Once this is done, you click on OK and this looks much better. In order to change how the target score bars look like and change them into single lines, you're going to select this and actually double click to get this format data point appear. Once this appears, you're going to click on fill and line, go to the line section, click on no line, then followed by a marker, go to marker option, and then click on built-in. Here you can decide the size, maybe 20 or whatever you like. And for the type, you can select, let's say the box. 20 seems a little larger, so you can settle on 15 and that will be good enough to do. Now you can see that actually Sarah was on 62, but she was supposed to be on 85. We can change the graph for all other points too, along with this one, all at once by clicking on no line, going to the marker section, no line over here, no border, moving on to the built-in, and you're going to see the points appear. If you want it to be in form of a dash, which looks more subtle and more nice, you can change that too. Here you can see how amazingly the graph has transformed, the chart has transformed, in which the target scores are represented by dashes, which are the orange colored ones, and the bars in the blue show the test scores. Here, if I make some changes, let's say if I change John's target scores to 90, so you're going to see the bar is going to raise. The same way, if I chose his test scores to be 85, so you're going to see the bar is going to rise. This is how you can create amazingly the variance charts to track performances of your students in Excel. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.